All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this cold cast presentation. I'm your casting host, Beef. With me is Pablo McDad, and we're bringing you continued coverage of Haunter Cycle 3 here for season number two. This is game number two, where these two teams are going to battle it out. Pablo, how you doing? Two. I'm, I'm doing great. I'm wearing a tutu. Oh, damn. Pablo's on fire. Pablo, these teams are absolutely rolling through this uh, phase, so let's cut the chit-chat and get serious for a second. Up top, we got the bands going on. Ophelia, Pebbles, oh, Warbeast, and Scout. So uh, both the Warbeast and Scout being banned out. Lodestone not banned. Makes sense to see him in some of the first picks right there. Uh, do you agree with Fabelia choosing to ban out the Pebbles this time? Um... Since they got the lodestone themselves, I think it was a great ban. Um, so yeah, yay! I agree. Giving yay. up the uh, giving up the engineer first pick. We saw that uh, Freyd was able to snag that one last time, but in this case, first overall pick going to Justice League, and they use it to grab the bearded boy in blue. Yeah, insane arrow. So it's understandable that we would first pick it because it opens up their plan to see what the enemy picks as well. So. There's nothing wrong with the engineer first pick. Never is. I love it. He's my favorite hero. So, I mean, what am I going to do? Same. Complain about it? Same. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> no. Pablo, I forgot that we had the same favorite hero. That's great. Yeah, we're en we're engineer buddies. Yeah. Man, I want to play some engineer. <laughs> we might have to stream tonight. Anyway, Lodestone, of course, you uh, touched on that one. And then, of course, the uh, Tempest and Keeper of the Forest, the mutually assured destruction that is those two heroes. One going to be going to each team right here, so we'll see if the U.S. or the Soviet Union takes it in this one. And, of course, finishing out with Predator as well as a Parasite. So, I have to say, this might be the first Parasite that I've seen in quite some time. Normally a hero that uh, does get banned out. Wow. Yeah, um, Parasite feels like he's fallen off a little bit. Due to the double roam, he can get cancelled out in the jungle. But I still like the hero. It's great, especially versus the Tempest, to be able to cancel the hole in all the situations. And the prisoner pickup is fantastic. I, okay, what makes it fantastic? Like I'm going to tell you what I enjoy. I enjoy hooks, and yeah. I enjoy the fact that he says "you're mine" or something. But yeah. well, uh, from a strategic aspect, why do you really like this prisoner pick? Because they're going to hook people into Tempest Ultimates, making wombo combos, which I love. Do you love saying wombo combo? I love saying Wombo Combo. Me too. Do you watch any Smash, Pablo? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, you should totally watch some Smash. They say Wombo Combo and Smash. <laughs> I'm gonna start watching Smash. It's it's pretty great. It's where the phrase comes from, and uh, specifically one video. It's amazing. Anyway, I've seen it. Seen it. Oh, there you go. Um, yeah. Prisoner Nine Four Five definitely going to be fun. A Luna gonna be on the other side. This is a much more meh pick. Nothing to get excited for over there. <laughs> Hellboy team, could you step it up and like go with a revenant or something? Like, come on do now. Do something baller. Exactly. Do something that's not just the Luna. Bull. Get the Kraken for the dual lane. There be insane. you go. Pablo knows what's up. Go with the. Uh, I used to be a drafter. I was amazing. <laughs> go, go with the suicide or the uh, support madman. Like. Yeah. Maybe just do just... anything. Support Madman's pretty great. Like people doubt it, but it's yeah, we support Wildfo yeah, with that rat. Yeah, Insane. Uh, well, I don't know about all that. <laughs> I do not kidding. know about all that. Kidding. Hey, Kinesis gonna be there coming. There we go. Out. So Justice League definitely uh, playing some interesting heroes over here. Yeah. Kinesis definitely a strong suicide. We've seen players like Jeppens use this one to great effect. Moon Queen. And a Moon Queen. So damn, we're hearkening back to like eight months ago with these picks. Other than yeah. Prisoner, because uh, that hero didn't exist. Being up one game to nothing gives you the advantage of doing something different. And uh, being down one game to nothing makes you do something that you rely on back in the when you played the best. So the Moon Queen pick coming out, but I like the lineups. I think it's going to be a fun game. Uh, it certainly should be. The Hellborn team going to be focusing a little bit more on that farm, but they've certainly got aggression potential between that uh, Lodestone and Parasite as well. If they pick up double portal keys, you could very easily see Kinesis and Engineer as well as Tempest being picked off repeatedly. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into this game with a pause. <laughs> yeah. Yay! <laughs> and the crowd goes wild! 
<laughs> I can just imagine people at home like throwing their hands in the air doing spirit Woo! fingers with me. Finally, I love pauses. Pauses are the best. I, I made a mention like last week that I, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to start playing ads like as soon as the draft is over at each game because that's what they do in League of Legends because they have like a five minute pause after the draft. Oh, yeah. And, and that's pretty much how it is in Han. Like we, pre we pretty much have a guaranteed five minute pause like after every single draft. Like, there we go. Panny's like, you ready? And then the other team needs a second. Yeah, it's always like that. Like the, the typical, well, if they're pausing, I'm just going to go and do this. <laughs> the worst one was when Bastis went to cook a meal ah. during the end of the pause. We had to wait for like 10 minutes. I remember one time casting SBHL qualifiers for season one. One of the teams, um, somebody had to go do dishes, and they, they seriously <laughs> paused for twenty minutes. Mom, I'm in a game. Yeah, do the I'm, dishes. I'm just like <laughs> people, please, like <laughs> people, please, don't Come go on. do the dishes in the middle of a match. Like that's not a thing to do. Oh, that's well, rough. You gotta do what you gotta do. I guess so. And in this case, it looks like the Legion team will be uh, heading on into their own jungle. Going to be defending that one. Makes sense, as they've got that Tempest. Do want to protect this and allow the big guy to do his power farming. Yeah. Uh, they seem to be doing the uh, Lodestone in a dual lane this game. Or as a... Yeah. No, he's going to yeah, be... Element. What am I talking about? I didn't see... I wasn't oh, thinking about the Moon, Moon Queen. Gosh. Pablo. Yeah. You need to... So they're uh, going to want to... Pick up some farm on him and get him a portal key for the wombo combo of their own. It's gonna be pretty big. I mean, Kinesis along with the, uh, the engineer prisoner Tempest, like Kinesis does a lot of damage with this mass control. He does. Oh, so no. he can even get a staff of the master now. Oh, he should. And a Grimora power is gonna hurt. Totes. He's gonna be. Uh, I like ducks here playing the Kinesis. So. The mystery player, who's reputed to be owned me, is going to be playing that suicide role. It's actually being played by Zane. What am I talking about? Yeah. Poblet, did you give me one too many of those beers? <laughs> I think so. Oh, no. Uh, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, uh, but it's 10 a.m. here, so no, that is not a thing. Uh, <laughs> it's 7 here, so I'm good. Hello, New Earth. My name is Beef, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> what? I can make a support group for you. Oh, no. Kinesis does manage to get a Ward of Sight down on the right side over here, so gonna be getting some lane positioning and safety as a result of that. And now Kinesis is in some trouble. Moon Queen gonna be coming forward, but does have the aura. And as a result of that aura, Kinesis is able to get a lot of damage onto a Luna. Probably checking and seeing that at first, but middle lane, Lodestone is having to use the rocket drill to escape after trading quite a few autos with Engineer. These teams are crazy, man. Yeah, uh, I'm a bit confused about the aura level one. Because the beam, the stun is enough to get a few more auto attacks in and you can harass him away from the lane, making him use extra regen, which is great. But yeah, they got it now, so. But they're pushing the lane heavily. Certainly that Kinesis are. lift. Yep, getting the push going in his favor. We'll be able to get some CS here off the tower, but I completely agree with you. Having the uh, the beam there at level 1 would have almost guaranteed a kill in a couple of the positions that Sane was in. Now, he might have been playing a little bit more cautious if they had known that Moon Queen had beam, but. In either case, lost opportunities, and so far Zane doing a very good job up top, so well played by Justice League there. Middle lane, Engineer, and Prisoner, they're holding it down against Lodestone, who is managing to get levels, but uh, virtually no farm, only sitting on 2 CS so far. Yeah, uh, they are trading his farm for the Tempest, or the Parasite's farm, sorry. Uh, so we'll see how much impact the Parasite has. The early game is going to be very important, since the Legion team has two roamers. Oh, uh, the Tempest, I'm sorry. A Tempest farms much faster. So he's going to need to make an impact early game as the Tempest does more so in mid game. He, he will farm faster, but. Oh, nice hook going to be coming in here. Both going to be running away. Tempest with a haste turn was in position with a level 1 Glacial Blast, but 
uh, opting not to use it in this case. Didn't think that they were going to be able to get a secure enough kill, so Tempest wastes about 30 seconds trying to set up for that kill, and this is where Parasite can start to farm a little bit faster than Tempest because he didn't go for a gank. True. So, um, yeah, we'll see how they handle the situation. Uh, top lane Kinesis uh, did not go for a block on the pull, so Luna is able to go ahead and take advantage of that. Isn't going to get any of the last hits here, but will at least get the experience from this. And of course, the lane is going to start to push out. Middle lane, though, Engineer taking some damage. Lotsun's getting real ballsy with the assistance of Parasite in the middle lane. Yeah, as he can. I mean, the damage output on Lotsun, as I said earlier, is insane. So. Luna gonna go down up top. That was kind of awkward there from Panny as well as uh, from Fabunko in the top lane. Uh, and he seems yeah. just able to walk him down and Moon Queen not able to get in position to help. Yeah, I saw the earlier part of that. Uh, Aluna chose to stack and, and pull. Which was great, and he but he left before all the neutral creeps had died, so he didn't get full XP and put himself in an awkward position. So that was a bit of a mistake. But another suicide first bug for the Legion team. Pretty big. This time not going to be going to Fabelli, but instead to Zane. And and this is a really big kill. He's actually maybe going to be able to get a second. No, Moon Queen gonna survive but not with much hp bottom lane engineer gonna be going hard on the lodestone but now uh ng and prisoner could be in some trouble no glacial blast out onto lodestone that's gonna be the second stun lodestone dropping the big one-man riot autos and will be enough looks like engineer able to get out of there as well lodestone not gonna be going for any more kills man that was kind yeah of crazy that was a bit bit awkward too. I mean, if he had an empty bottle and went for the room like that up top. Yeah, Kinesis turning it wow. around. Able to get a kill against Moon Queen. This is a disaster for Afraid in the top lane. Yeah, that was also <laughs> the third thing that was also a bit awkward. He went for him right next to the tower. You knew that he wouldn't get the kill. And harassing him that close to a tower isn't really good. And now he died because of it. But yeah, uh, Lodestone. He went for the rune, even though he didn't have bottle. Ooh. Middle lane. There they go. Yeah, there you go. Finally picking up a kill in that middle lane. Lodestone getting the assistance of both Aluna and Parasite. And, excuse me, that was Aluna and... Um, wait, yeah, Parasite. Right. Uh, yeah, and here comes the G-drop. No. Oh, no. Oh, I saw a Catman <laughs> Champion next to Tempest, and I saw it stomp like as soon as I came on my screen. And I was like, that's Parasite. I thought Parasite was just in the middle lane, but it was just a Catman champion stomping. Yep. You know. It's great. You know. Maybe some uh, Catman. less than decent control there. From St. Rox. Because a, a Catman champion shouldn't Let's be stomping your minions as Tempest, should he? No. But it, it hurts, especially on low level. bad, yep. Let's get the uh, the full minion replication. So in the end, no harm, no foul. Now, yep. bottom lane. How are things shaping up here between Predator and Keeper? Um. Yeah. Uh, it feels like they're missing some last hits because the Predator is only at 290 GPM, and then you have the Keeper on 200. So it feels like they're both focusing a lot on denies. Yeah, right now the uh, score 13 to 9 for Predator as opposed to 10 on the Keeper of the Forest. But uh, Pred definitely having the advantage here, but not a huge one by any means. This is uh, a little bit interesting because with the sacked region there on Keeper of the Forest, he was sent to lane with two sets of Blight Stones as well as a Shield Hatchet. I expected him to maybe do a little bit better here against Pred. Yeah, uh, I mean, Pred is great versus Keeper. If you think of trading hits, you get life. With Predator, you don't. With Keeper, you get the armor. Well, middle so lane, the Shadow Storm gonna be going off here. Does catch Engineer, and the face smash does finish him off. Bar throw going out, but mm, looks like uh, the hook gonna be coming in as well. Lodestone does have a rocket drill available. They might turn this one around. There's the rocket drill, not gonna be able to get the stun off. Haste of Lodestone. 
he's gonna have to get on out of there so uh, nice job from i like ducks to actually survive in the middle lane but engineer at least going down Kinesis is gonna drop in the top lane and the legion team able to get a kill in the bottom lane on the tower as well so a little bit of trading on the opposite side of the map yeah, a little bit of action going on everywhere. A uh, good push from the Legion side, getting the bottom power, which is kind of boost up their GPM and open up the map a little bit. Uh, the top, a bit awkward play, going up to a Moon Queen next to no creeps, always hurts. And then uh, good roaming from uh, Hellborn side in mid. That's the bottom. Oh yeah, bottom. Tempest in trouble. Actually gonna get the elemental void on the three. But a power throw from Aluna gonna finish him off. Even turns around right there. Nice job by Panty surviving. And is going to be able to get out of there. The team trying to apply chase, but prisoner gonna go for the hook. Does manage to get Parasite. Drops the shackled as well, and the slow coming in for the venomous leap is gonna be able to finish off Parasite, so. Really, really well placed hook there from I Like Duck, setting up a necessary kill. Yeah, it was a bit of a waste using the uh, Tempest ultimate when they had no damage around. Yeah. But picking up the kill on, on Parasite makes that trade even, so good play. Not bad at all. I mean, that's kind of a position where if you had a portal key to get off your uh, three second ultimate there or something. That'd be one thing, but up top, Moon Queen is going to go down. Power throw on the two instead. But now Aluna going to be in trouble. Shackled auto attacks coming in. And Aluna will drop two dying for afraid in the top lane. As Justice League is uh, looking to make this tower the first of the game. Second of the game. Third? Second. Fifth? Second. <laughs> Twelve? Hello? No. Uh, that was a huge kill, though. Getting the short lane carry. Especially when it's a Moon Queen who's a late game hero. And probably looking to get the tower that was a great pick off but feels like they they know they need to put out more action early game since they have the moon queen so great play from the legion side yeah and speaking of that moon queen i thought that it was a wow, really well placed turn here in the bottom lane is the forest stations in trouble gonna get kicked out as well the dust gonna be expiring in about five seconds a second dust gonna be used to get in that vision and event of sleep to finish him up so really, really well played gank there in the bottom lane. And uh, speaking of that Moon Queen though, I, I thought she would have spent her gold. She finally does, spending about 1800 gold, which is what she had when she died. Now Tempest in some trouble. Is the Hellborn team gonna get a counter kill here? Power throw after the face hug is good, but just as it gets one in the middle lane, his lodestone drops. <laughs> Yeah, both teams pulling out a lot of action, even though they both have late game carries, um, which I love through the boring tears watch farm fest. But good, good trades coming out all over the map. Yeah, well done indeed. Now, of course, uh, Moon Queen, like you said, being that kind of later game carry that needs some ramp up time, isn't going to be able to compete as effectively against Predator, who's going for a more early game build, got the steam boots, and going to be finishing up. An Elder Parasite here whenever he wants to spend the money. This could spell disaster for Moon Queen if she's not able to get an Energizer and some mobility online. Here, Force is going to drop a root here as Prisoner 945 is going to drop. Legion team were kind of baiting him, but uh, they weren't able to get there in time. Yeah, that was a bit sloppy. He was standing there with half health, and if you look at the bottom lane, it's very pushed up. If Keeper's not there farming, you have to assume he's going to go use his ult somewhere, so it's a bit sloppy. But good kill coming out from Hellborn team, utilizing the keeper ult. Yeah, smoke him if you got him in this case. And uh, oh. Keeper blows it, gets the kill. Very well done. Now, Predator did just pick up the Elder Parasite. What else did he get? Uh, will be a secondary Gloves of the Swift here, so I'm going to be going into the Insanitarius next. The standard core here for a Predator. And when he finishes up this Insanitarius by, say, 15, 16 minutes into the game, he's going to be an absolutely terrifying presence because he's got the levels to go along with it as well. Going to be hitting 10 here in a second. And, uh, of course, getting a, a lot of damage on Keeper of the Forest, running him down with the Elder Parasite. Is this going to be enough? One more auto, and it will. Keeper of the Forest going down. Middle lane energy field has been dropped here. Now Parasite in some trouble is going to go down. Hasted Prisoner going to be trying to make this a hat trick. And Aluna is going to drop, so a double tap for St. Nux and a hat trick for Justice League as they take a massive advantage in game number two. 
Yeah, uh, solo kill bottom on a keeper is huge. Um, it's a great play having the dust on him. And getting the kill mid is gonna make sure they get the mid tower as well, so they're pulling out ahead again. This game. And getting the deny top. Great yeah. play coming out deep. Very, very big. A uh, massive resource advantage that's being translated into a pretty big momentum advantage here for the Justice League. They're going to have that in Sanitaries here on Predator in probably the next minute. And that's going to be a gigantic pickup. You've got uh, Prisoner 945 working on a triple stack ancient. And if he's able to get all these kills, he could get a portal key if that's what he wanted to go for. I don't know what exactly he is going to be looking at, but it's certainly a possibility. The prisoner? Yeah. Yeah, uh, normally when I see him, people pick up Incendiarius on him. It's a great item, but I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what you build, the, the standard build is in... In games. Tournament games, that is. Yeah, I'm not too sure either. Uh, the Elder Parasite and Sanitarius build is certainly one that I've seen as well. Um, but I wouldn't exactly call it standard by any means. In this case, Helm of the Black Legion, no. I think, is going to be the choice as he picks up a life tube. Yeah. And maybe a bulwark after that, leaving Predator going more carry items. Yeah, personally, I. Top. Yeah, top. Kinesis in some trouble. The Moonbeam going off. Uh, probably not 100% necessary, but at least they got the kill. Yeah, but if we went down, he would have gotten the engineer as well. It was They saw that it was two ports. But yeah, it was a good kill, nevertheless. Not bad by any means. Predator, uh, or excuse me, Prisoner coming up. Trying to land a hook and capitalize for the Legion team. But And that's the kind of thing that you need to be making happen here. If you're the Hellborn team. You take the picks when you can get them. And then you just make sure that you're not giving up on necessary kills. In this case, Predator going to be uh, hitting the bottom lane. And it's Sanitarius just purchased, not going to be flown out to him immediately. But uh, Lodestone does have to be a little bit careful there. Yeah, he's going to hit really hard soon. Um, and they just want to keep doing what they're doing. I mean, the pickoffs they've gotten have been great. And they always lead to a tower afterwards. So if they keep doing that, it's going to be great. Oh, bottom rune. Yeah, Engineer is able to get the invis. Keeper of the Forest had been kind of babysitting that rune for a while. Now giving that to the Engineer is a pretty big blunder. Not only is your team not going to be making use of that, but an Engineer with an energy field available to invis is, is a threat anywhere on the map. Yeah, it's like a free portal key on the support hero. It's insane. Pretty much. Are you gonna use it? They're gonna drop that energy field. There's the keg back into the energy field. Turret as well. Really well placed turret in energy field. Keeper of the for or keeper of the forest. Yeah, definitely is gonna be in some trouble. Last auto attack not gonna be enough to finish him. And now Tempest gonna be the one that's in some trouble. Loso comes in, stun on the two. There's the head smash. It looks like in the background, Kinesis or excuse me, Predator was able to get a tower, but two players down in the middle lane, the Tempest and the Prisoner. Those are huge kills here for the Hellborn team. Yeah, they're huge kills, but they got the return. No, they didn't. I thought they got a kill in the mid, but uh, never mind. No, uh, they got the tier the, two uh, tower. I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's fine. Tower. I mean, it's fine, but they caught up a lot in experience now on the Hellborn team. Still behind 7k in goal, but experience is a big part at the, this part of the game. So, great pickoffs. Yeah, definitely working their way back into this one is the Hellborn team. And with that Moon Queen that's being allowed to free farm right now, an item like Whispering Helm definitely paying off. Choosing not to go the Energizer route, at least just yet. I think I'd still like to see the Energizer right here. Um, just because of the mobility that it's going to provide in an attempt to get away from Predator. But we'll see. She's also going to need uh, something like... I mean, well, does she need that Shrunken Head at least right away? Mm, I think she does, yeah. Okay. With the uh, uh, slow coming out from Predator, uh, Kinesis nukes, uh, Engineer, Ultimate, Tempest on, uh, I think it's going to be needed. I, th I think he's opting not to go the Energizer because of the uh, active Legion team. Makes it a bit hard for him to get another build-up item before going for the big ones. So. Sure. 
Hellborn team uh, going to be caught out right here. Parasite trying to run away. Lodestone is going to miss the stun. Energy field going to be going down. Parasite the first one to fall right here. But there goes the Engineer as well. Moo Queen going to be... Uh, or that was Tempest that dropped. And it looks like Moo Queen going to try to TP on out. Not going to happen. The old ball and chain drags her back in. And here's Lodestone. The Shatterstorm just went off. Got to get out of there, buddy. Rocket drill away. But the Shackle going to be catching on up to him. Aluna going to drop a stun. But that's not going to be doing enough. Dust going to be going off as well. And Lodestone is going to fall. Three players down to the Hellborn team. And the Legion now going to look to convert this into a tower kill. Yeah, it feels like they're not really using their team fight abilities as a team on the Hellborn team. It's, it's a bit awkward. They're using half their skills like in the upper team fight and then the other half on the lower team fight. Uh, he's getting get caught down. out. He's going to try to walk away and a nice choice to not use the root knowing that they simply didn't have enough damage to burst him down through the astrolabe and the keeper armor. And he's now going to have that root to be able to defend the base tower. And so we'll have to back up this Legion team. Yeah, uh, but as I was saying, the Moon Queen ultimate with Lodestone and Keeper will hold them down. They don't have any Shrunkers yet. So hold them down, uh, use a lot of magic damage when they get the debuff from Lodestone. So if they utilize those teamfight abilities together, they're going to get a few kills. But oh, they're going to try right here. Damage. Prisoner going to be in a lot of trouble, taking some damage for sure. And Lodestone ultimate going to be going off. Kinesis going to use it on himself. Tempest going to get four inside of the elbows. Oh my god! The Wombo combo coming out of Kinesis oh, mass oh, control! Holy crap, I saw it, and I couldn't believe my eyes, Pomblo. Those players just evaporated in the top jungle. I think we need an Emperor. Woo! For that. Wow. That was insane. Okay. Huge, huge Tempest ultimate coming out. Catching four people, and then the Wombo combo on top of that with AoE and Inuk was beautiful to watch. Yeah, it certainly was. They're going to get the high ground advantage on the top lane of Rax. You're going to start working on these ones. Meteor even going to be dropped as Kinesis is going to clear up the minions, but it's going to be a tower at minimum. Uh, McQueen Ultimate is going to be up. No root, however. I don't know that the Hellborn team is going to be able to defend this Rax, but the Legion team, they're going to opt to not really fully defend this. The tower is going to get denied, so nice job on that one. It was going to drop inevitably. Yeah, they, they don't need to rush it. They know that they're ahead. Oh, he's gonna make it. Yeah. Uh, they know that they're ahead and they use a lot of cooldowns to win that team fight. And they can just go back, farm a little bit, and then reset and do it again. Absolutely. With uh, an item like Soul Bulwark that we just picked up here on Predator, that's gonna be uh, taking him towards the Demonic Breastplate, which he could feasibly have in the next three or four minutes. I mean, if this is gonna be a Steam Boots and Sanitarius Elder Parasite Demonic Predator at 23 minutes, like. I Game's gonna be hard. What are you gonna do about that? Yeah, game is hard, man. Yeah, you don't really have the uh, uh, the CC on the Hellborn team to deal with that. Uh, all your spells can be removed with stone skin, so it's gonna be tough. I'm a bit... The prisoner, he went the sustainer. Looks like he's going for the, uh, the null stone. Yeah, that's kind of odd. I'm, I'm personally not a yeah, fan it of might, it. Yeah, it might. Yeah, just for the parasite, I, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not It's like Pre it. Predator has so much farm that he picks up all the items he wants. So he's like, okay, I'll just go null stone then, because I can't get anything. Yeah, I mean, what are the other options here? If it's not a null stone, uh, rune cleaver, refresher. refresher. Is that Double it? hook into Tempest Hole. Is that it? Wombo combo. No, I don't know. Yeah, it's a refresher. I I could actually see it being a refresher. Yeah. I mean, he's saving up quite a bit I, now. I could see it being a refresher more than a Null Stone or a Rune Cleaver. And if he is looking for that refresher, then he will have it in about 500 gold. And I mean, think about the, uh, the prison break here. This is a 100 second cooldown that if you're using this twice like when it drags them all back in and then you refresh and use it immediately again that's essentially six seconds of immobilization with three seconds of stun and a ton of damage yeah it's pretty big you throw the old insane. ball and chain and shackled times two on that damn it it's an all stone 
What? Now we get all disappointed. I'm so. I, I, I am legitimately disappointed right now. Like, I'm sad. Can I leave? I just gotta go, like, get some cake. <laughs> Somebody just get me, like, a thing of ice cream and I'll just eat my sorrows away. <laughs> oh no. Why you gotta do me this way? I like ducks. Book would never have done this. Yeah. Wait, what did I. Uh, mean, somebody, somebody gave me a pro tip earlier that said we've been pronouncing book wrong for three years. Oof. I call him Bush. Yeah, that's what they said. That's how you pronounce it. So I've been right for three years? Yeah. Well, it's not my fault I don't speak Euro. <laughs> Yeah, stupid Europe. Stupid Count Europe. Co country sucks. Worst country EU. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. What have I done? <laughs> Pretty much a disaster. Oh. The Hellborn team, they're going to go ahead and uh, continue trying to farm this one out. By no means given up just yet. But Moon Queen opting to go the Firebrand first. Not going to go the Shrunken Head, at least right away. And... You'd mentioned that you would like to see the Shrunken Head. I kind of wanted to see a build-up item, whether it was going to be the Energizer or the Firebrand prior. And so, at least getting that. But now, here we are, 23-minute Demonic on Predator. This yeah. is terrifying. So I'm at both the Shrunken. Like, you're going to... Oh, bottom lane. Yeah, bottom lane, indeed. It will be a dead engineer. A lot of stuff to get they that kill, get but now. yeah, need to get out of there. The Legion team is coming again. There's the elemental void. Oh. Uh, hooks him out of there, unfortunately. And that's a disaster. <laughs> Tempest gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Moon Queen Ultimate gonna be going off, and Predator does not give a crap. Keeping the force gonna be taking a lot of damage. Moon Queen is gonna be able to survive and TP on out from Predator. And everybody's alive from the Hellboard team. Is this Yoke? Oh, Peter, what are you doing? That, that was insane. I, Why would it, I don't know about that. Was that was a huge Tempest hole. I got mean, four people. First, first, I like Ducks goes the Null Stone. <laughs> yeah. And then he hooks them out of the Tempest hole? <laughs> Why would you do that? Team, please. Oh, well, he was playing so well in game one. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm not a fan. That, that's pretty <laughs> rude, though, <laughs> taking away all the credit from the Tempest. Right? That was a sh hole. Yeah, same thing. He's like, no, no credit for you. Oh, no. That's that's going on top five fails. Submit it to Scyther. <laughs> oh, well, in any case, they're going to try to take the Consolation Prize, and in this case, that will be the big guy and a token of life. What? Long answer doesn't hook him away. Can you hook Kongor? I don't think you can. Red Power Throw comes <laughs> yeah. in. That'd be a disaster. You like hook Cogor up onto the high ground and it gives it to the engineer that's just waiting up there placing mines. Yeah. Oh, Luna in some trouble. Cogor is going to go down. Predator gets the token of life. Engineer going to be able to get the energy field off as Lodestone, Keeper, the Forest, and the Luna are all going to drop right now. Parasite tries to go for the leech, but it was not enough. As the portal key was being used right there, and portal key not going to be available. Keep going. Moon Queen, no! But the old ball and Shane, I like Ducks, redeeming himself, showing that he is indeed a dirty hooker. Tempest going to be going down. Not going to happen. Mass Control is going to finish off Parasite. And Moon Queen trying to TP out. Not going to work. A genocide going to be coming out here, and I would not be surprised to see the CCGG. No, that was the last raw, I think. Going all out for Congor. Uh, if they stole the token, it was pretty close, but yeah, we'll go to CC. There it is. It looks like Justice League will, in fact, be taking this first round matchup 2-0. The victory over the newly point Afraid team. As the GG well played, and that's going to do it, Pablo. Afraid moving on into the loser's bracket, not being eliminated, at least just yet. On the other side of things, Justice League looking very, very strong. They'll move on to the winner's bracket, round of eight. Yep. I mean, a uh, good, good game coming to both good series coming out from DCX. They, uh, Justice League, they played it really well. Um, they opted not to get a jungler first game and just outrun them. And then second game, huge Tempest holes coming out. So they played it really well. Uh, they certainly did. And, uh, well, I'm looking forward to seeing who they're going to be playing in the winner's bracket round of eight. Because that's where the real matches start. I mean, those are the matches that... Every single one of those is going to be strong. But speaking of other matches, Pablo, I don't know what your situation is in terms of continuing casting, at least for myself. 
I'm going to be uh, taking a look at another one of the matches going on here in the winner's bracket round of 16 because we finished up early. There's still plenty of matches going on. I can join. I can join. All right. Well, Pablo, let's go ahead and uh, take a very short break here while we figure out which one of these matches we're going to be going into, guys. So don't go anywhere. This is cold cast coverage. Of... Wow, this is not the Sound Blaster Heroes League. Nope. It is not. This is Haunt Tour, season number two. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with another series. <laughs> 